Hello, my name is Mickey Weir, and today I'm going to show you how to deactivate the very annoying auto standby that comes with KRK rockets. I might know the Gen 3s, and I believe this feature is with the Gen 4s as well. And what it does is every half an hour, if the speakers aren't in use or the volume is very low, the auto standby will kick in to save power. Now, for me, unfortunately, it's more of a, an annoyance than anything else because if I'm watching tutorials or have some music on while I'm studying, it'll turn off and cut the sound off altogether. Um, even worse, if I'm watching a movie and I'm in bed, and the volume will cut off. I really don't want that to happen. Um, and that may be because I've got the volume set at 0 dB on the back of the speakers. I've heard some of my friends say that it doesn't happen to them, but they have the volume set loud. However, I want to keep it set at 0 dB because when I'm changing between PC and the DJ controller, it keeps the levels kind of the same to that. So there is a workaround, and I'll just show you how to do that now. So if you get onto Google and type in KRK standby, auto standby, sorry. Uh, one of the top links is this website here. How to deactivate rocket krk auto standby so this is like a software that this guy's produced um so i haven't figured out how to do it with the hardware i have actually even opened up the speakers um and i couldn't figure out how to turn it off or disable it so the workaround i'm doing is uh using this guy's software uh, but it, it doesn't it doesn't end there there's a little trick that i have as well so i'll just download the software plunk it on the desktop um and it's a zip archive or you can use winrod to unarchive it as well um, and what you want to do is is extract it so that it's in a folder still and then you can delete the zip version and you want to put this in your program files and you're going to run it from here and that's pretty much the workaround so if you open the file uh, the folder You'll see the applications there, and if you double click on it, it'll start working. And it comes down in the tray in the bottom here. If you click on it, you can see that you've got the time, and then after the time ends, it's going to emit the 10 hertz frequency, which you can't hear. It's really, really low, uh, low on the frequency spectrum, but it'll it's enough to keep the speakers from turning off. Um, but the little trick that I have is to put this application. Or a shortcut to this application in the startup folder in Windows, and what that does is it makes 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 the program start when Windows start starts up, so that you're not you're not going to be watching a film and it turns off because you've forgotten to run the program every time you open up start your computer. It just sits there and and does it automatically. So how to do that? If you hit the start and R command or shortcut key on your keyboard or the windows key and R it will bring up the run command and then you want to type shell colon start up you'll see that I've already typed it previously open that and that opens up the startup folder and basically all you do is you right click on the application that you've got set sitting in your program file so that you don't accidentally delete it Create a shortcut for that application and then drag that into the startup folder. Um, I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit and rename it, get rid of the shortcut. And that's that. So now, every time Windows boots up, that application will run automatically in your startup and you won't have to remember to run it each time so that's the end of the video i hope that helps cheers for watching